guys! Good morning and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to make an apron using leftover fabric that I have. They are all cotton fabric, um, very easy to sew with. It's a very beginner friendly project, I hope, because I don't like difficult projects. And we're going to make um, a, uh, an apron not using a pattern, so we're just going to eyeball the type of design that we want. We'll draw it on a piece of paper and then we'll try to get the measurements as per our own body, our own size. And I hope that it's easy to follow and that everyone can make this at home. So, grab your coffee and let's get started. With my drawing of my apron, I made my waistband to be 60 inches long and half an inch seam allowances on all the sides. And for my lower skirt, it was 24 inches widthwise and 15 inches long. And as for the top bib, it was 9 inches long and 10 inches widthwise. And for the top neck ribbon, I did it 23 inches long. Um, and after I did that, I also added um, buttonholes, two on one side and one on the other side to attach to the apron. And the reason I did two and one was in case I needed to make it shorter or longer. So here you can see me cutting my lower half of the apron. I measure out, I fold the fabric in half, measure out as power measurements and then after I cut, I make the rounded edge on the sides. I chose to make my apron double sided, therefore I had to place the first piece on another piece so that I can cut the other side of it. Next, I lay out fabric to cut the upper bib part, just, as the sa just the same as I did the bottom piece. First, cut out your rectangle and then once you've cut out your rectangle, you need to um, round the edge. Carry on cutting all your pieces and once you've cut out all your pieces, it's time to measure the bottom and the top half of the bib so that we can cut out enough fabric to make the frills that go around our apron. This is the fabric that I chose to do the frills on the side. I, I just absolutely love this fabric. It's just so floral and very me. So the next thing you need to do is take that fabric to the sewing machine and do a basting stitch. I did two rows of basting stitch and then I made the gathers on the uh, frill so before we attach it to the apron. And here I am attaching the frills to the apron. You have to add the edge of the the right side of the frill to the right side of the fabric and then sandwich it with the other right side of the other fabric so basically the frills would sit in the inside of the circle or the semicircle and then you have to stitch make a stitch all around it and when you turn it around um, the frills will be on the right side out you'll see what I mean at the end of this so just to reiterate at this point you're only uh, doing a seam on the uh, round edge and then cut off the extra excess seam allowance that you have turn it inside out remove all the funny stitches that's there take it to the ironing uh, board iron the edges and do a top stitch to make it nice and sit nicely and flat now that your top bib looks nice and professional you need to repeat the exact same step for the lower skirt this is how the entire project should look like by this point when um, when you have done the bottom skirt and the top bib you need to sandwich the top and the bottom bib in the middle of your um, waistband so your waistband was cut in half two sides and then sandwich the top and bottom part of the bib and sew all around the waistband so that you can um, sew your top, top and bottom pieces in it Okay, so this is where I made a really silly mistake, guys. As you see here, these are the pockets that I cut out, right? And I took the overlocker to go around the bottom edge of it. And then I folded the top edge in half um, so that it looks nice on the outside. Um, essentially, you're meant to attach the pockets to the skirt, the bottom skirt, before you sandwich the skirt with the frill. Um, 
but so I'm going to try this anyhow I'm going to take a step so because the pockets are the same size anyways I'm going to attach the pockets to the skirt anyways and sew them down um, in the hopes that when I sew the top pocket I'm getting the bottom pocket at the same time and I don't miss this but if you were attempting this you'd need to attach the pockets to the skirts the skirt pieces before you actually sandwich the frill inside of it and sandwich the back and essentially the back and front part anyways let's hope that uh fingers crossed this turns out well um yeah let's see what happens the next part is really easy all you need to do is attach buttons on the front and the back of the bib on the top so that we can attach the neck ribbon to it for the neck ribbon, I lost the footage where I actually sewed all four corners and I mean all three corners and then flipped the ribbon inside out. And here you can see me pushing the one corner that's left into the ribbon itself so that I can stitch the edge close. And then after that, I take it to my sewing machine to sew the buttonholes in it. This is the uh, button foot button uh, foot that I have for my sewing machine. It's really amazing. All you need to do is pop your button in into the foot, and then what it does is it, it 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 has a gauge of how much it knows how big or how wide it needs to sew the buttonholes onto your fabric, and then you turn your sewing machine settings to the button button setting, and all you have to do is put your fabric under the foot and the sewing machine does the rest and really essentially it's like you don't really have to use your hands and it's just amazing i love this step and then next all you have to do is take a seam ripper and uh, pry open the um, buttonholes and that's it guys that's the end of the um, apron tutorial and next all you need to do is um, hook on the um, top ribbon to the buttons on each, which side whichever side that you want to be showing on the outside and this is as you can see this is the back of my ribbon i wish i made the waistband a little longer so i'll have uh, more ribbon on the outside to play with but um i'm i'm actually quite happy with the overall result like it looks really really cute and my daughter ex absolutely loves it so she wears it too and it works it does its job and oh i forgot to tell mention the pockets turned out really really well so i i got lucky there i lost the footage actually where i actually so um showed you on video how the the pockets looked actually really amazing i when i sandwiched it together so if you want to try this method go ahead but i would still recommend that you sew the pockets onto each um, uh, bottom fa uh, skirt piece individually first before you sandwich it but anyways if you did enjoy this video do not forget to give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for more videos um, and i hope to see you next week and thank you so much for your support bye guys have a good day